Hi, welcome to the Todd and Deborah Show. This is episode 50. Yeah, 50. We apologize if you can hear every now and then. That's not our stomachs, at least no, not mine. No, they're power washing our building again for about the 50th time this year. They used to do it like once every three months, but now they've started doing it once every three days or once every three hours, I think it is yeah, now that they, yeah. that they power wash our building. Hopefully that's not going to be an issue. We did an episode recently where we were talking about all the negativity that's surrounding us, not just here in the U.S., but around the globe. I mean, there's a lot going on that's really just yucky. And in that episode, we were talking about escaping to nature because it's just so cool to get out and be reminded of all the wonderful things that are here on this planet that make us happy. I did another thing recently. I decided to turn off notifications on Facebook. I love Facebook. I am thrilled to be connected, reconnected with friends from all eras of my life. But because of all the negativity and just, just well, anyway, I decided to try turning off notifications. But what it means is when I want to, and I do have time to catch up with people, I sit down and I need to go to everybody's wall, you know, uh, and find what, and, and you miss a lot that way. I know I'm missing priceless things, but for now anyway, it's been helpful. But I rediscovered something like 5 billion times even more helpful, so right. I want to share it reconnecting with something magical from your childhood or when you were younger anyway. In my case, it was kite flying. Yeah, Deborah's um, always talked about kite flying as just being something that was very special, very well. You said it, very important. It, it filled a gap in your life, I think, when you were a kid. Yeah. We were in this uh, new neighborhood and I was trying to do the thing, making friends and everything. And there was this gigantic hill uh, in one block, houses all around, but their backyards all sloped up and nobody had a fence or anything. So we kids would run home from school, I think I was about 11, and we would grab our kite and run up to Kite Hill, as we called it, and I learned how to fly a kite from these friends of mine, and we would stay up there for about three hours every afternoon. Well, those were the three best hours of every day of my life for a long time, but the magic of it had kind of been forgotten. And then for my birthday a few weeks ago, Todd remembered this and took me to Toys R Us to choose my kite. And it's not kite flying season, so... No, there wasn't much of a choice. Yeah, but I'm kind of glad in a way because they just yeah. had little cheap kites. Like, what do we spend, $4.98 or something, something like for that. a... Power Ranger ones or whatever they are. Or Avenger. Are those yeah. the same things? No, Power Rangers and different. Avengers? Okay, mine's an Avengers kite. I'm proud of it. We got the extra string and everything. And yesterday was the first chance we had to go to a local schoolyard and fly the kite. I don't know what in your childhood was magical or what just gave you a freedom that you had never felt before, but this was it for me. And I don't know how to fly a kite professionally. I'm sure there are YouTube videos you could watch to see about flying kites. My 11 year old and 10 year old friends taught me to just run around and tug and tug until I got lifted to the point well, where the upper winds. Yeah, I mean, I'm, it still works. I'm so glad I still remember how to do it. But I had forgotten the level of joy that comes from having that kite dancing around up in the sky. and. Because you're doing this and you have this connection with the kite. Up there? Up there. See it? Uh -huh. Right there. <laughs> it's as if you are up there. Somehow it's like an extension of you and you're dancing around in the sky. I, this is maybe That's this how is. I thought. <laughs> he was the string keeper. I Todd, was dancing. Yeah. <laughs> because I was running around and forgetting how hard it was for the string keeper to keep up with me. But you know what? Your job is the most important job when it comes to kite flying. It might look like I'm having all the fun and I'm doing the important stuff, but no, yeah. you, the yeah. string, keeper. string keeper. Let's I've hear it for it. the string keepers yeah, of the yeah, world. Yeah. Actually, I used to keep my own string when I was a kid, so, yeah. you know. I'm, I'm, just, I'm expendable. No, no, I'm not trying to say that. I'm just trying to say that I really appreciate you because I know what that's like. Uh, I hope you have a Todd that can go kite flying with you. Actually, kite flying might not be your incredibly wonderful escape. Mm -hmm. Think about something in your past or things that really did bring you pleasure and think about maybe resurrecting them. Yeah, there's got to be something back there. And maybe it seems like, oh, that would be too much trouble because it involves, you know, finding something or, I don't know. If you can do it, do it. And, oh, I hope it brings you as much joy as it did me. Let us know if it does. Go fly a kite. Yeah, seriously. Bye-bye. See you next time.